Fort Worth Fabian man, Big Boss Fable, back again with a video for the channel. I'm actually doing a reaction to when a cop becomes the criminal. This is actually Ewu uh, Explore with us body cam, man. Ewu body cam. So let me know y'all's thoughts on this one in the comment section below. I got several of these that I usually tap in, tune in, and do. Uh, I got a whole playlist link provided in the description as well as pinned in the comment section below. Let me know y'all's thoughts, man. Let's go ahead and hop right into the video. When a cop becomes the criminal. That sound wild. That sound crazy. No. No. I, if, you, if you arrest me, I promise you, you're going to have a problem. I, I won't have a problem. Yes, you will. No. I, no. I won't no. have a problem. Not over a We're sandwich. Not over a sandwich. He wanted to grab me by my hood and slam me to the ground. That's what he wanted. He is the shift supervisor. He's the boss. Hey, I'm saying okay. Put your hands behind your back. You're going to get paid. Bro, he choked, the, he choked her out. When officers arrived to mediate a simple dispute Mickey at a D's, McDonald's baby. in Dayton, Let's Ohio on January 16th, 2023, the situation rapidly deteriorated. What happened next went viral. When all was said and done, a woman would be injured, and most shocking of all, the officer who would deliver the series of punches to her face Dang. would be found guilty of assault. Much of this footage has never been seen before. Shortly before 4.40 p.m., Butler Township Dispatch received a call that would ultimately shake the community to its core. Shake the room. Hi, I'm at McDonald's. There's a woman in here screaming, yelling, and she's asking me if she's seen in the stores. Uh, I need a McDouble with a large fry. Thank you. Low for police to come. Yeah, yeah. I thought she was going to stay. She said she was going to stay, but now she's leaving. Oh. She she gonna stay. The cause of this disturbance is absolutely mind-boggling. She ain't get the Big Most Mac on time. Have no clue that in 2023, the best me. way to make money on Amazon is not with physical products. She's, I don't know. What she asked for a fudge sundae, not a caramel frappe, bro. But she's mad over a 30 cent piece of cheese that she can't afford. I don't know what's wrong with her. Eventually, the aggrieved woman exits the store and informing the caller, who is an employee, that she'll be waiting for an officer to resolve the situation. she couldn't get cheese on a burger? later, Sergeant Todd Stanley, a 22-year veteran of the Butler Township Police Department, arrives on the scene and approaches the woman, later identified as 31-year-old <laughs> Latika Hancock. Hi, did you have a bad uh, day inside? No, sir. I went through the drive through earlier. Okay. She refused to take my dollar to give me 30 cents after I paid it for extra cheese. Okay. There was a young lady who was very nice, by the way, before I introduced, got introduced to this lady in the burgundy. Okay. She asked the lady in the burgundy shirt to remake my sandwich. She comes up to the desk, wanting me to pay her another 30 cents. So 49 plus 30 plus 30. For what when there's... I'm not even getting enough pieces of cheese. You only put one on here when I already paid the 49 cents for the extra piece of cheese. This whole incident began over 30 cents. That's what I'm trying to say, y'all. The world we live in to where people are going to jail over McDonald's, bro. This is not the first story I've done or seen on YouTube to where there was a dude who went to McDonald's. His fries or his nuggets were cold, so he started turning up in the lobby area. He himself called the police. He himself called the police to later find out he had an outstanding warrant so he ends up going on a chase <laughs> cops look him up find out dude's a criminal and you ended up putting yourself in this situation to get arrested because you didn't want to leave the mcdonald's when the manager told you to you i mean the, the difference between these two stories that dude called the police it seems like she was just waiting outside and mcdonald's called the police she was just waiting around to explain her whole 30 cent cheese issue but bro if i'm at mcdonald's right let's say i'm in her shoes give me that extra piece of cheese okay it's gonna be 30 cents i give you a dollar and it's an issue now oh now we need an extra 30 cents i already gave you 30 cents uh so ma'am you're causing a ruckus we will get the law involved okay bye i'm not gonna hang around for cheese bro she literally hung around just to explain to the police that she wanted extra cheese on her sandwich. Like, as Sergeant Stanley keeps talking on, with bro. the woman, Officer Timothy Zellers arrives on the scene to support his supervisor. So she gave me a refund. I'm leaving. She started screaming at me, telling me to have a good day and not to come back here. And I said, I won't. So you didn't, you, you didn't say anything. You was a complete angel. I know, I'm getting information. You're getting disorderly. Sure score. Did. Okay. All right. I did. So here's what's going to happen. You've been made whole, right? You got your I'm money leaving. back. You pulled up. I didn't yep. want you to have to so, chase so me. So here's what we're going to do. They want you trespass. They don't 
Who listen, cares? Just listen. Legally speaking, though she's no longer inside the restaurant, if McDonald's owns or leases the lot where the woman is speaking with officers, then she can be trespassed from it. I know. It doesn't mean anything. It's a McDonald's. They don't they want can't you. There's one right. on every corner. Customers are right. Thank you. Okay. I won't come back Is this car come back to you? No, it does not. Okay. Can I get a driver's license number or something from you or name no, and date of birth? I don't have one. Well, I'm going to issue a trespass notice and I have to fill out a piece of paper. I okay? can care less. Okay. What you're I just do. need some information. No. <laughs> the sergeant threatened to arrest Ms. Hancock for failure to provide this information. That's funny. You don't have a license. <laughs> I ain't even gonna get into all these details, but I was just watching a, a podcast about these kind of situations. But anyways, um, you don't have a license, bro. <laughs> Man, this is crazy to me. I try to avoid trouble. So when I see that, I already know I'm in the wrong. I don't have a license. The car don't come back to me. I'm not causing problems. <laughs> like, I'm in and out. We're going to trespass you, ma'am. All right, bye. <laughs> she literally was hanging out, being a ruckus. Hey, hey, oh, the cops is coming. Oh. And the encounter continues Ooh, yeah. to escalate. You're going to make it more difficult than it has to be. If you arrest me, I promise you, you're going to have a problem. I, I won't have a problem. Yes, you will. No. Like, no. I won't have a problem. Not over a We're sandwich. Not you. over you a sandwich. I, I, all I want to do is give you a piece of paper. You have to what? So many McDonald's out here. Bruh, We're okay. we need to know who you are if we're gonna... Now you're getting disorderly. As Sergeant Stanley yep. searches through See? his trunk for Keep a trespass cool. notice, Keep calm. Officer Zellers picks up the conversation with Ms. Hancock. Technically, she's being arrested for failure to identify herself and not for being angry and shouting about the sandwich issue. According to Ohio Code, no person who is in a public place shall refuse to disclose their name, address, yeah, or fool. date of birth when requested by a law Just enforcement who officer are. who reasonably suspects the person is committed as committed or she got outstanding warrants more than likely that's probably why is about to commit a criminal offense therefore ms hancock is required to identify herself who's gonna, gonna go in there and make her remake my sandwich stop, nobody if you don't stop you're gonna I'm end fine. up going to jail stop h-a-n-c-o-c-k write it down so calm down go. no because you're not about to act like no, that over a stop. sandwich she didn't make right stop you don't need to go to jail over this. Exactly. Okay, so That's calm what I'm down. Saying. Like over a you're making, you're making us your enemy. The encounter continues yeah, to escalate. Out, bro. Unfortunately, there's you're no You're turning up back. over a sandwich, Ms. Hancock bro. has already <laughs> violated the law by failing to identify herself when she was asked initially. Man, take it Once you satisfy by your here. actions or inactions, the elements of a crime, the crime has been committed. You cannot uncommit a crime. Man, man, every day, though. But you coming for me over a burger? Yeah, it's too much. You're not leaving until you identify yourself. Right, if you don't get the... You better calm down. She said... I'm not giving you nothing. I already said it. Okay, you're under arrest. No, I'm not. Back. Put no, your I'm hands not. behind your back. No, I'm not. You are under arrest for failure to identify. Don't put your hands... Okay, my last name is Hancock. I already your too late. Back. Behind your back. No, I don't want to, for real. It's let's pizza. I'm telling you. Why would you do that? Okay, I'm once okay, again, I'm once ready. again, bro, you see how this is always a situation to where once it gets to the point where they're taking you in, okay, okay, it's Hancock, H-A-N, she's trying to spell the whole thing out, bro, it's too late, why do you need to put up a front, act tough, and then when they try to, you know, pretty much enforce taking you in, okay, I was being compliant, oh, this is clown world, bro, <laughs> I ain't going to talk too deep, but there's a lot of root causes to this. There's a lot of things that tie into this, and uh, it's a lot of things that offend a lot of people. So, you know, we live in a sensitive world. You got to watch what you say. Get on the ground. What happens next would go viral. Your hands behind your back. Put your hands you're resisting ma'am we don't want you to resist uh, put this over y'all neither
At Go Auto, we know car insurance can be expensive. Okay. The good news is, it doesn't have to be. Go Auto helps you save more money. Neither officer's body cams caught the punch. Footage shows two officers attempting to subdue Miss Hancock. Oh, we caught it right there, bro. <laughs> then, seemingly out of nowhere, one officer delivers three punches to her face and head. It didn't have to even be this way. Can I just leave that on you? No, you're going to jail. Come on. Please, now it's all respectful. Are you okay? My name is Latika. Latika, it didn't have to be this way, Latika. I'm sorry. Well, too late now. Way. Trying to place Latika in the patrol car proves to be a struggle. This is not a debate. Okay, okay, I'm going. No, I'm, get I'm in going. the car. Sir, okay, get in the car. Get in the car. I'm going to. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. 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 After Latika is detained, Officer Zellers remains with her while paramedics assess her injuries. Sergeant Stanley, meanwhile, goes into the McDonald's to have the manager sign the trespass order. The following conversation is shocking. I hate stupid people. Yeah, but you didn't see Miss thrown down, did you? I, I couldn't see around the edge of the car. I just saw that she was that she was fighting with, and then okay. you had to hit her, and then you both had to take her arms back and yeah. against the car. Okay. Huh? You gotta ask him. No, I did the head. And... Right. <laughs> yeah, I said you could have got tased or punched in the mouth. What would you rather have? The pride in Sergeant Stanley's voice here at the end is truly disturbing. Bro said, and let me get a double cheeseburger. The, shift manager, <laughs> the officers had to hit her. More on this later as Sergeant Stanley continues conversing with the McDonald's employees. You want to hear the best part about it? I'm this gonna write guy. a traffic ticket for no driver's license. There you too. go. There you go. Sergeant Stanley is well within his right to charge her with this under Section 4510.12 of the Ohio Revised Code. However, it's clear his doing so stems from his anger in the altercation, uh -huh. rather than any desire to uphold the law. After Nine returning out of ten to his patrol officers. car, Sergeant Stanley and the McDonald's manager are still talking about the encounter when a paramedic shows up to give him an update on Latika's injuries. Well, you know, we try to be as... I don't want to hurt her. Right. Okay. She started pulling away, pulling away, so I punched her in the mouth and blooded her up. She cooperated then. Yeah. I'm you said, yeah. So I'm <laughs> you go, say. sir. Yeah. But she, that took the wind. she was going to get tased or she's going to get that. Yes, that, that took the wind out of her sails. And anything, what do you think? Did, did they make any assessment? This guy yeah, clown. Clean okay. Paper just cleaned her up. No stitches, nothing sure. like that. Superficial. Yes, sir. When Sergeant Stanley entered Ms. Hancock's vehicle after her arrest, he noticed a 12-ounce can of Monaco Citrus Rush on the floorboard. He would write in his narrative that when he arrived on the scene, he noticed a hint of alcoholic yeah, live, beverage bro. on her breath. It's also interesting to note that the paramedic who spoke to Sergeant Stanley claimed Latika's injuries were superficial. This contradicts what the paramedic who examined Latika had to say. I just need to see in your mouth real quick, make sure there's no teeth broken. Go ahead and smile real big for me. I mean... <laughs> She got rocked. It, it feels like the big one right here. Yeah, it, it feels loose. It I don't might have be. Anymore. Latika's lawyer would later claim that several of her front teeth were loose and she had a closed head injury as well as a back injury from her arrest. After the paramedics head out, Officer Zellers has a terse conversation with the detained woman. I'm going to come back there in a minute. Okay. And I'm going to say this very nicely. You're going to get out. I'm going to reposition your handcuffs because they're not on correctly, and I'm sure that hurts. You're not going to give me any bullshit. No, I just figured it was Because Listen, listen, after that, if you give me bullshit, I'm going to tase your ass. Before he can do so, however, he checks in with Sergeant Stanley to make sure he can transport Latika to the county jail. I need to uh, get everything out of her pockets, everything, and readjust her cuffs. No. Just get her down to jail. Just get her down there and do that? Yeah, we're not catered to her after what she did. Officer Zellers will do as commanded. Well, are you going to loosen the, t the cuffs at least? As soon as we get down there. Well, I thought you said you were. Here's the difference. She is my boss, right? And I just talked to him about that, and he said not after all the resisting that you put us through, he's not willing to risk you resisting again. 
Latika Hancock was booked on two criminal charges, failure to disclose personal information and resisting arrest. She was also cited for driving without a license and having an open alcoholic beverage in a motor vehicle. After community outrage, Sergeant Stanley was placed on administrative leave. In early April 2023, he was charged with misdemeanor assault. The sergeant voluntarily retired from the Butler Township Police Department on May 1st. Despite initially asking for a jury trial, Stanley and his lawyers opted for a bench trial. Here is how the sergeant reconstructed the altercation in his report. I tried to push Hancock against the hood of my police vehicle with my body weight. She pushed back. I heard Officer Zeller's warning Hancock that she was about to be tasered if she did not stop resisting and complied. Hancock was wearing a thick coat and I did not think the taser probes would have been effective. I used my right hand and with an open hand palm strike, I struck Hancock on the right side of the face near her Boy, mouth. Why? This immediately took the fight out of Hancock. We were able to get control of both of her hands and we were able to get her handcuffed. It appears that rather than being open, Boy, Stanley's hand out. is clenched in a fist. It also appears that at least two blows struck Ms. Hancock, not just one. The presiding judge took less than an hour to find Sergeant Stanley guilty of assault. Stanley was ordered to pay a $500 fine, undergo a 60-day electronic monitoring program, and two years probation. He will also be responsible for covering all treatment related Dang. to Ms. Hancock's injuries. <laughs> New smile. Speaking to the media after sentencing, Veneers. Ms. Hancock's attorney said he and his client were considering filing a civil suit against Sergeant Stanley in the Butler Township Police Department. It's interesting to note that though Sergeant Stanley was placed on administrative leave after the incident, as mentioned previously, the Butler Township PD didn't fire him despite the assault. What else is new, y'all? This is America. I get it. <laughs> Bro, what else is new? We know that nothing happened to that man. That's the way the world works. They don't care. So with that being said, bro, let me know y'all's thoughts on that. Uh... She was obviously completely in the wrong. I think they both were, obviously. He shouldn't have put his hands on her like that. They should have just... I guess, what's the lesser of the two evils? Punching somebody in the face or just tasing them? I guess they should have just tased her, right? Or no? Comment down below, man. Let me know y'all's thoughts. Uh, when a cop becomes the criminal. That's the thing. They were both in the wrong. Like... This is all this, you're so bad and tough until it's time to go to jail. And then, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I just can't respect that. People like that are clowns to me. Respect the authority. If the law steps in, man, just do what you need to do, abide. And it's like, yes, the law is idiotic eight times out of ten. But am I going to risk just clownery, buffoonery? Who are you? I'm going to tell them. What's the point? If you got something to hide, you got something to hide. But, I mean, it's not going to end well for you. You might as well just take the L. Now, two, you're riding around with the open bottle of alcohol in the car and then arguing with McDonald's over an extra slice of cheese. At least hide the bottle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you're idiotic enough to still wait around till the police come. If I know I'm like under the influence, I'm doing buffoonery, I get in an argument at McDonald's and they're threatening to, you know, get me for trespassing and call the feds, I'm out. <laughs> And I wouldn't even let it escalate to that point. I'm just not a clown like that. But if I get clues and hints that the cops are coming, bro, and I know myself, I'm intoxicated. I've been drinking in my car. This isn't even that big of a deal. It's a piece of cheese. I'm dipping before they show up. But like I said, I'm not the type to even let it get to that point. Number two, the, the officer was in the wrong. I mean, he giddy giddy and about it with the people in McDonald's. Like, I don't, I don't like people like that, bro. It's like they got a buddy buddy with other people to substantiate their actions. Oh, she was getting aggressive, man. I just had to, I had to not give her a little one too, man. And if she give me more lip, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ride her up for a traffic citation, bro. What's up? And the McDonald's manager, yeah, man. <laughs> bro. Like, that's the stuff you kind of talk about with your counterparts. You over here chopping it up with the McDonald's manager about how you did your job and it was, it was, what you had to do was valid. It's like, bro, I don't get it, man. <laughs> man, man, man. It's crazy because these type of things are serious situations we deal with. But I can't help but laugh at the stupidity in the world we live in, bro. It's just, it's just corny to me. That's why I don't be outside. I stay in my own lane. I try to just, you know, stay low key. It's just because, bro, we're surrounded by chaos. So let me know y'all's thoughts on this one in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on 
Insta. I guess all my socials, man. Fort Worth Faving, Peace, Love, Prosperity. If you have recommendations, comment down below and check out the EWU playlist, comment section in the description. God bless y'all. We out.